Hey everyone, you're watching Ash on Comics. My name is Ash, and these are my comics for this week for Wednesday, July 18th, 2018. Um, I buy these comics at Comics and Stuff in San Diego. They have multiple locations. I go to their El Cajon Boulevard location, which is sort of their main warehouse, um, and it's pretty huge. Um, good, good, uh, good store, good people. Um, if you live in San Diego, you probably know about comics and stuff, I'm guessing. Um, this is my pull list for this week. Uh, two issues they didn't actually pull, so while I'm sitting here giving them kudos, they <laughs> missed they missed two issues. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws is from last week, as well as Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, they just weren't in my, my bag. This week's, we start off with Batman 51. Um, not sure what I'm really thinking about this book, but the alternate covers are pretty stunning, so yeah, I guess that's one way to keep me from canceling. Um, the New Challengers. This one is um, not getting a lot of credit. Not getting a, not credit, but a lot of attention. I think a lot of people are writing it off a little early. It's only had two books. Um, I have to admit, I'm not sold on the book, but I feel like this in this day and age of writing for the trade, it's really not fair to, to judge a book on a couple of issues. I like to see the whole story play out, and then we'll go from there. I do not mind a long story. I hear a lot of uh, other reviewers talk about how they wish comics would go back to the day where you could just pick up an issue and have a self-contained story. Um, I call shenanigans on that. Those people that want that, uh, I, I don't necessarily believe them that X-Men <laughs> was the long story, and that's what everyone bought and loved. Anyways, what's up with this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people credited on this book? Good lord. I hope it's not a mess inside. Um, Alright, we'll find out. I'll be doing a review on that one. Um, Justice League number four. Um, speaking about covers selling me a book, I've never been a Justice League fan. I'm going to allow Zack Snyder to try to sell me on Justice League because everything I know about Justice League, its appearance, its concept, just does not interest me. But I've been wrong before, and good writing is good writing. So hopefully Zack can sell me. In the meantime, Jim Lee is selling me on these gorgeous covers. This one might be the best one yet. Um, these, I love, I don't, I don't only love the full art covers. I love that they're taking this opportunity to feature one of each Justice League member and eventually you'll, you'll get them all and I, I'm just going to keep buying them. <laughs> That's one way to, to sell at least, uh, you know, half a dozen copies. And then finally, Versus by uh, Image. This is just a stunning, I mean... If you want to, if you want to talk about artwork, and you want to buy something for art, that's why I bought this. Um, I hear that this is the last issue. Was is this a five issue series? So I'd be kind of bummed if that's the case, but it'll also free up funds for something else, maybe. So there you have it. That was this week's poll. It's kind of boring um, as far as a <laughs> pull this video. It's late because. Um, I've been doing re remodeling on my friend's house, helping him out, and um, just have no time to do anything. So hopefully uh, you found something interesting in this video. I will try to make the future ones a little bit more interesting. Well, tell me what you think about these comics. Um, and as always, if you see the comics I'm buying and what my interests are, if there's something I'm missing out, please let me know. If you do your own pull list videos, plug them down below. I will love to come visit them and check them out for myself. Um, shout out to Trajan Channel. He was the one who inspired me to do a pull list video. He does them even better than me. He's got a really great cadence. Um, he's fun to listen to. And um, you got to forgive him. He does buy some Marvel comics that are pretty crappy. But, you know, maybe some of you guys are Marvel fans and you'll, you'll enjoy that. Um, anyways. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.